This procedure is being performed by a nurse in an outpatient setting. When the procedure is done in an inpatient setting, refer to the procedural guidelines. When caring for a suprapubic catheter, set up the supplies as you would to apply a dry, sterile dressing. When newly inserted, the catheter may be held in place by sutures. Wearing clean gloves, remove the existing dressing by gently pulling the edges toward the center of the dressing. Note the type and presence of drainage and check for signs of inflammation. Assess how the catheter is held in place. If sutured, look for redness or drainage. In other cases, it may be retained by a manufactured seal or a water-filled balloon, much like an indwelling catheter as seen with this patient. Then remove and discard your gloves. After performing hand hygiene and putting on sterile gloves, use your non-dominant hand to hold the catheter erect while cleaning. With your other hand, moisten several sterile 4x4 gauze pads in sterile normal saline and clean the site in a circular motion, starting closest to the catheter and widening out to about 2 inches. Using a sterile 4x4 gauze dressing, moistened in normal saline, gently clean the base of the catheter. Move gently up and away from the insertion site and do not pull on the catheter. With your dominant hand, apply sterile split gauze around the catheter and tape it into place. It is acceptable to leave the lower edge untaped at the pubic hairline. As with all dressing changes, make sure the dressing is marked with time, date, and initials. When caring for an established suprapubic catheter, put on clean gloves. Using a washcloth with soap and warm water, gently clean in a circular motion from the exit site out. Rinse and dry the area well. Then remove your gloves and perform hand hygiene. For an established or newly inserted catheter, apply clean gloves and loop the catheter on the patient's abdomen. Secure it in place with tape to reduce tension on the insertion site, or use a multi-purpose tube holder to secure. Next, check the placement of the urine drainage bag and tubing, ensuring that the bag is below the level of the bladder at all times. If needed, use a Velcro tube holder to secure the tubing. Thanks. As part of follow-up care, inspect the site at least once every shift and monitor the patient for signs of infection, such as fever or an elevated white blood cell count.